So if, if I have a, a child who, who has a condition, is there a way I can tell that, that uh, a toxicity is behind that condition? Well, the, the diagnostics are different for different exposures. Okay. So for example, in the case of lead, the, the best diagnosis is to get a blood lead test. And if the test is elevated, then, then uh, seek out the source of exposure and, and prevent it. Uh, if, uh, if mercury is suspected as the cause of disease, again, a blood test. And if the level is high, then it's time to stop exposure. Um, some of the other chemicals are very difficult to test in the human body because they tend to be very short-lived in the bloodstream. In other words, they get in and they're gone in 24 to 36 hours. So unless the blood sample or the urine sample is, connect is collected very, very close to the time of exposure, uh, you'll miss the footprint. You know, when we talk to uh, doctors about uh, toxic exposure, a lot of times uh, they will talk about detoxing those things too. Is that a good way to go, or is removing yourself from the exposure uh, a better way? Yeah, I, I've always taught that it's far preferable to remove yourself or remove your child mm -hmm. from the exposure. Uh, the trouble with detoxing, with chelation, for example, mm -hmm. is that chelation not only removes the harmful materials, it also can remove essential trace elements mm -hmm. like magnesium, like calcium, from the human body. And CDC has reported deaths from the, um, from the improper use of chelation. So I advise against chelation except in extreme cases.